Okay, I've gotten it sanded all the way down to 600 grit. Um, then I cleaned it up with uh, some mineral spirits to get all the dust and everything off of it. I'm gonna, on this particular piece, uh, I'm gonna use a uh, polyurethane for the finish, high gloss. No, I had, normally I use high speed friction polish, but with these spirals in here, you can't put it on the friction polish on with a paper towel because it gets stuck in these little grooves and it doesn't look very nice. So I'm going to put uh, three or four coats of the polyurethane. Uh, I've marked my piece here in the chuck with uh, number one, where the number one jaw is. I put a mark here, so I'm going to dismount after I put the polyurethane on it. I'm going to take it off and work on the handle. But I always like to mark it so that I can get it back in exactly the right place so it's not crooked. Because I'll have to put it back on, sand it again each time afterwards. But we're going to do that, and then we'll come back uh, and start working on the handle. Okay. I've got my handle blank mounted here. Uh, the handle is going to be is glued up opposite from the way the cane was glued. I've got the walnut in the center and the curly maple on the outsides of it here. Uh, what I'm going to do first is turn this end round so I can flip it over, mount it more securely into the one-way chuck. So I'll get started with that. Get my face shield on. My sharpened roughing gouge. I'm going to leave the handle, make it a little bit uh, thicker diameter than the cane is. I feel like it, uh, for an older hand, would be easier to grip something that's bigger around. And since I'm making this for my father, that's what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to flip it over and start roughing, and we'll be back. Okay, I've got it rounded. Um, I'm going to be smoothing it down to uh, one and three eighths inches just using a pair of calipers. We got my gauge ring cut here at the end so I'll know exactly where to go. I like to turn as high of setting as possible at speed. It's just a matter of a gentle touch and keep the tool moving. You can always take off more, but you can put it back on. But since this is going to be one of the kind anyway, it's not going to matter. Everything I make is one of a kind. If I can't do a duplicate, almost there. using a round nose scraper on this one. Okay, let's 
pretty close. We'll come back and after I've done some more. So basically what I've done, I've got it in like a cigar shape. I'm going to sand it up a little. It, it's pretty smooth as it is. There's a few ridges that need to be taken off. Sand it up a little and then I may do some spirals on either end of it. Um, but it's taken shape. And again, it's about one and three eighths inches thick uh, or in diameter, so pretty easy to hold on to. I'll uh, do some sanding and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, I've got it sanded up. Uh, I'm going to be doing some spiraling just on the very ends of it. Um, I don't know that they would be that comfortable. That would probably make a better grip, but I'm going to leave the center part smooth. Do spirals on either end of it. So we put the cutter wheel on here, level, and then raise the handle, lets the teeth start cutting, and then just work it slowly to the end. And it makes very nice spirals on there. That, that, that's so much fun. I'm going to turn the angle to the other way to do this side here so there'll be opposite spirals. And uh, then we'll come back. Okay. I've turned the angle. And we're going to go this way. Go in straight. Raise the handle till it starts cutting. And this made spirals go in the other way. I'm going to cut a little channel right here and here to kind of set these part off. <clears throat> Excuse me, I must have dust in my mouth or something. I'm just going to use a skew chisel. Just use the point of the skew. This is where I'm going to be parting it off, so I'm going to go ahead and cut a channel there. Okay, that's coming in a little bit. Set that part off. Okay. Do a little bit of sanding on this and then we'll start putting the finish on it. All right, we'll come back. Okay, I've got it all sanded. Uh, I'm going to clean it up here with a little bit of mineral spirits. Even this brings the color out so nicely. But I just like to get make sure it's clean before I start putting the finish on it.
Always use a paper towel when you're doing something like this because you don't want it to get caught on anything. If it does get caught, it'll just tear away. It won't tear your arm away if you get caught up in a reverse it and make sure that I've gotten all of the dust and dirt out of it. Dust. Colors are beautiful on this. this like I say, it's the curly maple here. This is the walnut. It's got the spirals on it. I'm going to put the uh, a coat of the polyurethane on it and then we'll mount it to the cane and we'll be finished. Okay, I'm nearing the end of it. I have put um, three coats of polyurethane and then I finished it off with a one coat of high speed friction polish. Uh, it came out very nice. Uh, parted it off, parted the end off. This end up here is going to be the top of it and it's going to fit in the top part of the cane so you won't see that there. I had to get the finish off of it so it would provide a good glue surface. And the handle of it is right here. I've got it set up on the drill press. I've got it measured to be in the center of the the highest part of the handle as you can see it's right in dead center um, it came out I did it the same way parted it off and uh, now all there's left to do is drill the hole and glue the apparatus together glue the cane together but I did notice after I got finished with it that there if you look down the edge of the cane you can see that there's a slight bow in it, which doesn't matter to me. That adds character to it. Um, if I had wanted something that was perfectly straight and perfectly shaped, I'd have bought uh, a plastic one, probably made in China, but that's not the way us woodworkers do. And this uh, comes absolutely from your hands and your heart and your head. Um, so I'll go ahead and drill the hole and we'll put it together and then I'll show you the finished project. Okay, here's the finished project. Um, I put my little tag on there, handmade by me. But there's the handle and the cane with the spirals on it. Uh, it turned out pretty good for my first project. I put a rubber tip in it because I don't want daddy slipping on the floor. But um, you could also, I think, use this thing as a weapon. You could hit somebody with that. You could pow them uh, if they tried to mess with you. But anyway, this was lots of fun. A lot of fun project. Uh, and uh, I learned a lot while doing it. The cane is 36 inches overall length. The handle is uh, about one and a quarter inches in diameter. The cane itself is about an inch in diameter. Learned a whole lot, so the next one I make will even come out better and quicker. Okay. Well, thank you so very much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for my next videos. I don't know what they're going to be, but I'm sure they'll be fun too. Thanks again for watching.